So now that Hilda Bassi has been officially announced as the world record holder for the longest cooking marathon, can you all allow Chef Dami to breathe? Let be poor. Breathe. Don't suffocate them. We have that responsibility. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adeze. Please subscribe if you're new here. We discuss with real people, real issues affecting real lives, and we also dissect and discuss and react to trending topics. So if you like content like that, please subscribe and also tell a friend to subscribe as well. It's funny that the last time I uploaded on this channel, I made a video about Hilda Bassi and you know, when she just completed the marathon, okay? And we've been waiting ever since. This is over a month ago. And we've all been waiting for Guinness World Records to officially recognize her and announce her as the winner of the world record, okay? Yeah, sorry that I've been away for that long, but I've been trying to put some things in place but i'm fully back now okay but yeah so while we've been waiting everybody has been waiting you know tweeting at them to you know announce hilda as the winner different people have cropped up here and there saying that they're trying to break the world record i think somebody came up in one other african country we've had you know people here and there in nigeria and nobody has taken them seriously and i don't even think it was ever anything serious however <laughs> The latest person who has come up to say that she's trying to break the Guinness World Record is Dami Lola, Chef Dami for short, from Ekiti State. And she has been cooking for a while now. I think it's like three days at this point. And it has sparked a lot of controversy online, as in more controversy than I actually thought it would. Because to be honest, when I first saw it, I didn't really take it seriously. I didn't even look into it. I just felt like, ah, cloud chaser, you know, like the rest of us. <laughs> I just felt this a class chaser, so I didn't really look too much into it until it now became a thing, and it became a thing where people online were now taking sides. It became very polarizing, and I was actually shocked at it, okay? But today, I'm going to discuss both sides, and I'll tell you guys where I stand on the matter. But first of all, congratulations to Hilda Bassi. She was just announced like a few minutes ago, and I was like, oh, thank God I was even about to film this video when they announced it, right? So, yes, but actually... She wasn't awarded 100 hours, which was what she went, you know, she was gunning for. She was awarded 93 hours, 11 minutes instead of her 100 hours. Thank God she actually pushed for 100 hours. I remember I was one of those people that was saying, ah, like, sister, calm down. Now it's okay, you've passed. Like, go and rest, you know. Thank God she did not go and rest because apparently there was a miscalculation on her part. And, you know, I think the way they calculated her rest, they made a mistake. And because of it, Guinness Book of Records had to, you know, Guinness World Records had to, you know, shave off a whopping seven hours from her time. Like, you know what it means to remove seven hours? If you remove seven hours from my my own time of cooking and it means that i cook for only one hour or less <laughs> it means i didn't even cook that day in this case there was a miscalculation when it came to hilda's rest breaks meaning we are unable to award the 100 hours claimed we can now announce that with a time of 93 hours and 11 minutes Hilda Bassi is the new holder for the Guinness World Records title for longest cooking marathon. Congratulations, you are officially amazing. So for them to remove a whooping seven hours and she still broke the world record, then it means that, you know, she's, she's just amazing, okay? So she deserves all her flowers. And that is part of the argument of people who have been saying that Chef uh, Dami Lola shouldn't be doing what she's doing because, you know, Minpa calling her a witch. They're saying this is broad daylight witchcraft. A lot of people are saying that she shouldn't, she shouldn't have done that. I even saw a comment from a guy saying that it's only a woman that will do this, the kind of thing that, you know, Chef Dami Lola is doing. Basically trying to insinuate that, you know, women are very um uh, wicked or competitive in a in a bad way you know and i don't really agree with that but yeah that's what the guy said um you know yeah so a lot of people that are against chef Dami Lola, that is their stance. They are saying that she shouldn't have done it, that she's doing the right thing at the wrong time. Then a lot of people, and which I actually agree with, a lot of people are saying that it's so mediocre, that she's not even trying. Apparently, <laughs> apparently the girl go off gas, go to dance, okay? She will put off the ga gas and be dancing. She put off gas to cook. I don't know if putting off gas was 
part of the criteria because I don't know why people are mentioning that putting off gas thing. Is it part of the criteria that you shouldn't put off your gas? Let me know in the comment section because me, I did not know anything about that. But a lot of people are saying that, you know, it's very mediocre. That sometimes she even puts off the live stream and goes to sleep. Like she rests for three hours. Sometimes she rests the whole night. Like she's not really taking it as seriously as Hilda took it. But she's trying to get the clout and get the recognition that Hilda got. So many people are like, that's so wrong. Nigerians like, you know, supporting the underdog. Is it because she's poor that people are now trying to encourage her and stuff like that? That what she's doing doesn't make sense. While on the flip side, some people are saying that, is it because she's poor that you people are not trying to encourage her? You know, so it's been so polarizing and it's been so hilarious for me to observe because to be honest, I really didn't think that people were going to take this thing as seriously as they're taking it. And I feel like they are actually giving um, the chef Dami more clout than she, let me not say deserves, but she's getting more clout than she should be getting on a regular day, okay? So some Nigerian celebrities have actually criticized her. One of them is Ruth Kadiri. You know, she took to her Instagram page to talk about it. So she said, they won't even think for themselves, but the moment you do it, everyone starts realizing they can do it too. They can't even wait for her euphoria to settle. Meet Nigerians, my people. Well, I understand her criticism, but at the same time, I'm like, okay, does it mean that nobody can get inspired by another person? Does it mean that because somebody did something novel or, you know, something, something that is not really, that hasn't really been done so much, okay, because Hilda is not the first person to break Guinness, book, Guinness World Record, okay? She's not the first person to break a Guinness World Record, and she's not the first Nigerian to even do it, okay? So... Are they saying that, you know, it's wrong for any other person to get inspired by Hilda and try to break the record? I don't agree with that, but, you know, I understand where the criticism is coming from, okay? Now, one of the people who criticized Dami is Lai Wasabi, okay? I like the guy. He's a comedian. He's very funny, okay? He has he, he does skits on Instagram and TikTok, basically, and he's a very funny guy. But when a lot of people were really talking about it, you know, tagging Hilda, tagging Chef Dami, Hilda put out a tweet saying, The beauty of dreams is that they are unique to each individual. Dami, your boldness to take on a cooking challenge shows that passion knows no limits. Embrace the journey, learn from your experience, and inspire others with your unwavering spirit. Hashtag dreams unleashed, okay? And many people, I'm sure, in their minds, not just in their minds, but many people actually said it, that Hilda is trying to take the high road. Hilda is trying to, you know, be PC. She doesn't want to ruin her brand. And one of the people that, you know, responded to that is Lai Wasabi. And he responded to the tweet saying, if your brand no fit to come, my own brand fit. Hence, if this attempt will take away the record away from you, God will make her fail. Drag me, you won't shall flog me. <clears throat> and drag him they did, okay? A lot of people supported him, okay, as per usual. Like I said, the whole topic is quite polarizing, so a lot of people were against him, while some people supported him, right? And, you know, the people that are against him were very vocal on Twitter, and they dragged him, you know, and then the next day, <laughs> the next day, the guy came to basically apologize, right? And his apology says, no matter how I felt yesterday, it was very wrong to have wished Dami, Dami Lola failure. Dreams are unique to each individual, like quoting Hilda Bassi. I publicly apologize to her and everyone I let down with such outrage. I believe we are all God's children and God blesses all, okay? And one thing I always used to say and one thing I still believe is never apologize to the mob, okay? Never apologize to the mob. Mute tweets if you want. Close your Twitter if you want. Like, go away from Twitter. Log out. Stay away from Twitter for a few days or something, right? But do everything aside apologize to the mob. I always say that. However, in this case, if he really felt strongly about it, if he really felt that, you know, what he said was wrong and he's not, you know, it's not good for his brand and stuff like that and he wants to apologize all well and good i mean it's not me he's apologizing to so i'm not in a position to accept or not accept his apology or say he should apologize or not okay i'm not in a position to say that so it's good that he did that if he felt that's the right thing for him to do if he couldn't sleep well at night then it's a good thing for him to apologize however as a general rule, I would say in most cases, do not apologize to the mob, especially if what you said is not really, really like 
you didn't really like insult somebody directly or something, right? If it's not something so grave, then I feel like don't apologize because once you apologize, you are opening yourself up to more criticism. You are now making it a bigger deal than it actually is, okay? That's the rule of, of social media. Like, it's not me that made the rules, but that's just it because people move on quickly. That's just the truth. People move on quickly. One or two days away from um, Twitter and your story will die down. But the moment you come and start apologizing, try to explain, try to, you know, make everybody feel good, you are just going to end up setting yourself up for more drags and dragging the thing more than it should, okay? However, again, like I said, it's good that he apologized if it helps him sleep better at night. So another comedian, or should I call her internet celebrity, like she does skits as well. She's, yeah, she's well, very popular. Yeah, her name is Maraji. If you don't know her, then I don't know how you don't know her. But yeah, Maraji actually made a video talking about the whole thing and i want to react to that video that's actually one of the main reasons why i decided to make this video okay because when i saw her video i felt like you know her video was quite interesting so let us listen to it together and let us react to it okay i'm making this video to kind of open the ground for us to have a conversation as to why people are so angry about what she's doing and also to kind of give you reasons why I believe there is nothing she's doing wrong. Number one reason why I feel like this girl is doing absolutely nothing wrong is because life is a competition. You don't see musicians waiting for other musicians to allow their songs get number one on the charts before they decide to release their songs. Before I started doing comedy, I could literally count with my fingers the amount of people doing comedy. Crazy Clown was inspired by somebody else and started doing comedy. I was inspired by Wofai Fada, some other American um, content creator, and I also started doing comedy. Other people were inspired by me and started doing content creation. Like, nobody waits for anybody. Yeah, I actually agree with this, her first point, right? Life is a competition, whether we agree or not, whether we like it or not. Survival of the fittest, okay, let the best man win. The strongest are preserved and the weakest are weeded out, okay, are removed. So that is just the basic truth. I actually agree with that and I can actually relate to that because me personally... One of the things that holds me back in life a lot is, oh, someone has already done it, or, you know, I don't want it to make it look as if I'm copying somebody, or I don't make it look as if, you know, um, like, I didn't do it because, I, or I'm doing it because this person has already done it. It holds me back a lot in life, or it used to hold me back a lot in life, but right now, I'm like, I don't care, okay? So, the truth of the matter is that it is okay to be inspired by someone, and it is okay to act on it as quickly as you want to act on it. So for me personally, when I heard about this Chef Dami stuff, I wasn't really offended that she's trying to break the world record that quickly, right? I'll tell you guys what I'm offended at, right? But the fact that, oh, she's trying to do what Hilda did, did not really offend me, okay? Where me, I was thinking that, you know, it would have been better. Because for me, even though I don't feel like she had to wait for anything, I also feel like she didn't do it the right way, right? So for me, where I feel like it would have been better is if she had waited to do everything the right way, the right way in which, you know, Hilda did hers, right? Hilda was given approval to, you know, to do the marathon and all that. And Hilda did the whole setup, you know, tried to, you know, just basically do it free and fair and make it very clear that she was doing the right thing, followed all the rules, even though she made a mistake, you know, in calculating whatever, her rest and whatever. But at least she tried to follow the rules and she tried, she was professional about the whole thing. She tried to do it the right way, okay? Where I have criticism for Chef Dami is that I feel like she's not doing it the right way. And if you're not going to do it the right way, like if in your head you know for a fact that you're not actually trying to break that world record, because that's how I feel anyway. I feel like she's not actually trying to break the world record. I feel like she's doing all of this for clouds then if you're doing all of this for cloud, there's a better way to do it for cloud, okay? You can pay homage to Hilda Bassi and actually, uh, actually get clouds the right way, okay? If you pay homage to Hilda Bassi and say, oh, I was inspired by Hilda and I want to do this cooking marathon. I'm not really doing it for the Guinness World Record because I can't wait for it. I'm doing it for, for exposure. I'm doing it for people to, you know, know about my brand. I have, a, I have a brand, okay? I have a brand I want to push out there and I'm inspired by what chef um, Hilda did, so I want to do the same thing, even though I'm not doing it as strict as hers. It's just basically like you're doing it like, you know, she's trying to pay homage to Hilda as well as put her brand out there and just do something nice for her brand, then I would have understood that. But when you come like you are trying to actually break the world record, like you're actually giving Hilda a run for her money, then do it the right way, okay? Don't come and be doing that mediocre nonsense and don't come there and, you know, put off gas. It's 
putting off gas is a problem. Not come in and put off gas, not cook well, not present well. Um, I even heard that they were collecting money from people. In Hilda's case, the food was given to charity. Well, yeah, she had sponsors and all of that, okay? The food was given to charity. So instead of getting people to pay and then serving them mediocre food and all of that, you know, it would have been better off to just try and get sponsors so that you can now do the food and give it out for free, okay? That is my opinion about that. I've seen so many comments of people bashing her, saying things like, oh, she did not get the proper management. She should have first collaborated with brands before she did this. She should have done it the way Hilda Bassi did it. What if she cannot afford it? What if she's just a random girl from Ikiti who saw Hilda Bassi do this and decided since Hilda Bassi did this? Again, like I was trying to say, if you know that you can't afford it, you're just a random girl from Ikiti State, you're not trying to actually break the world record, then do it and just you know pay homage to the person that you're copying it like just make it don't try to make it look like you're trying to break the world record i don't know if you guys are getting my are getting my point i don't support mediocrity i don't support just doing things for the sake of doing things i don't support just doing things without a plan just for the sake of clout without a plan okay i'm not saying that i'm not against doing things for clout though. clout is like the biggest currency right now okay so i'm not against people doing things for clout but do it the right way so it's either you are doing it the real way to try and actually actually like for real for real you know break the world record or you go the other way and just make it a whole thing that is just for fancy, just for fun, just for jokes, just for clouds, just to, you know, push your brand. Something nice, okay? Like, basically make it something nice, something... I don't know if I'm making if I'm making sense, but yeah. So I don't I don't really support Maraji in this part where she say, oh, she's just a random girl. Then just do it like a random girl. Don't come and try to um, diminish Hilda's work and basically make a mockery of Hilda. That's how I see it. Like, she's not paying homage to Hilda. She's making a mockery of Hilda. And it's very, very sad because the majority of people bashing her are women. For such a long time, women have not been inspired to do anything. But now is the time where- Excuse me, um, I, 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 don't, I don't agree with that, okay? All this, for such a long time, women have not been inspired to- I don't, I don't, I don't like talk like that. I feel like talk like that is just mounting off other people's talking points. Like, what does that even mean? I know when Katzi, is it Kathy? Kathy. Do you know when Kathy beats the world record for dancing? It's a while ago. And I heard that the person who beat her in that world record, also a Nigerian woman. So stop saying uh, women are, have not been inspired to do things for so long. Like women are just getting inspired to do things. No. Like women have been doing things for so long. Nigerian women have been breaking all kinds of records, okay? <laughs> it might not be Guinness world records, but Nigerian women have been strong women doing things achieving great things you know in every sphere not just the rich ones the poor ones a lot of women are actually making giant strides in their specific field a lot of women are heading big companies okay so let's not make it look as if women are just well not just please give us some credit okay put some respect on our names put some respect <laughs> women are actually aspiring to break records in nigeria and we are pissed why should anybody wait for anybody Tell me one reason. What's the assurance that you're going to wake up tomorrow morning? And since you guys are so shocked by the fact that she's doing this shortly after Hilda Bassi already did it, I'm going to be telling you different people who have accomplished the same record in the same country in the same year. Most Rubik's Cubes solved underwater. In 2019, two individuals from China, Qiu Jingyu and Zhang Yuxuan, both attempted to break the record. Qiu Jingyu initially set the record for solving the three Rubik's Cube underwater, but Zhang Yuxuan determined to surpass him and set a new record by solving the five Rubik's Cubes underwater on the same day. This were two different occasions. Someone else solved it, and another person, after seeing he solved it, solved it on the same day. Basically, she's still saying what I've said, right? I am not against anybody trying to break the record on the same day, you know, on the same, in the same hour, but in fact, a few minutes after, like, I don't really care, okay? It is quite obvious, because I heard that you actually get, like, a go-ahead to go and do it, right? So it is quite obvious that these two people actually got to go ahead to try and break the record. One person just broke it first, and the other person determined and broke it afterwards, right? So it's not like one person broke it, and then the other person now said, hmm, I feel like I can just do something to make it look like I'm trying to break this record, but just to get clout and, you know, remove some shine from the person who got it. Are you, are you guessing the difference now? The second person actually went ahead and broke it. The person was not 
sleeping, often gas and sleeping, was not there dancing buga. <laughs> was not the dancing booga, was not, you know, doing things in a very, I don't know, comedic way, if you ask me. Like, to me, that's why I didn't take it seriously to start with. Because when I saw the whole thing, I was like, what is this? What's happening here? I didn't even know that it was going to become a big thing, right? So what this lady in Nikiti is doing is nothing new. So yeah, I'm done talking. But let me know what you think in the comment section. If you think that she should still wait for Hilda Bassi to get all the praise and get the recognition from Guinness before she tries to surpass it, yeah, let me know why you still think that. Yeah, like I said, what she's doing is nothing new and it's not actually bad in theory. But when it comes to principle, right? When it comes to, you know, ethics, I feel like she's just making a mockery of the whole thing. And that was my initial fear when a lot of Nigerians and a lot of people were springing up saying, oh, they're trying to break the world record. I'm like, no, don't turn this thing into something mediocre and something stupid, okay? Because the reason why Hilda was able to break it was because she took it seriously. This girl trained. She got a physical trainer to train her physically for this thing. She got brands. She got. She, she did it the whole... She did it the right way. And even though, you know, seven hours was removed from her time, she still came, up, came out on top. So just do things the right way. And I don't think this girl would have had this much criticism if she had done it the right way, okay? Get the proper approval from the proper bodies, you know, set up this thing. You don't even have to get brands on board, okay? But once you get the proper approval and, you know, you, you want to, and you're sure that you can do it, then go ahead and do it. But making a mockery of the whole process, doing it the wrong way, turning it into a joke without actually specifying that, you know, it's not as serious as people are taking it, to me, that's where the problem is, okay? But that's my opinion, okay? Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this whole thing. I've seen people say things like, if you have friends who are supporting what Chef Dami is doing, then you have to be wary of them. And I've seen people saying, you know, people are just being mean to her because she's poor and she doesn't really, she's not um, popular and stuff like that, okay? But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you think that your friends supporting Chef Dami are bad people? I don't necessarily think so. I just know that Nigerians like to, a lot of people like to root for the underdog. And in this case, um, Chef Dami seems like the underdog, even though to me, she seems like the bully actually. Okay. Yeah. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.